first step one, you're going to prepare a statement of capital. And over that is, is looking at the start of your question, seeing what your assets are, see what your liabilities are, see how much we paid for it. And the difference then would be your goodwill. So in this question, we'll have our assets. So we'll have your premises of 180,000. You'll have stock, 17,000. You'll have debtors, 18,000. You'll have three months premises insurance prepaid of 1,200. And then you have your cash or 400. They're all your assets. And you add all them up together and you'll get 216,600. Then you look at your liabilities in the question. We've got two liabilities here. We've got your trade creditors of 22,500 and your wages due of 1,800. You add those two together and you get 24,300. So we've got our assets, our total, which is 216,000. 600. We got our liabilities total, which is 24,300. So you take your liabilities away from your assets and you get your net worth then of 192,300. You'd see in the question that we paid 220,000 for it. So the difference is 27,700. And that's your goodwill. And that goodwill goes in your balance sheet underneath your fixed assets section. So it's your net worth, take away the amount that you paid for it, that's the difference, and that difference is your goodwill.